Jessica Sanchez was just here and Philip Phillips. And as you can see, the crowds are here. They're gathered. They're going crazy. And they want to see who the next American Idol is. We are live in LA at the Nokia Theater for the American Idol finale. Now, 7,000 fans are packing in the theater right now. Will it be Jessica Sanchez? Will it be Philip Phillips? We will have the winner for you here at 10. Hi, Manny. Tell us why you're here to support Jessica. Yes, I'm here to support Jessica. Will you sing something for us? <laughs> uh, <laughs> next, uh, next episode. <laughs> you guys told us a little bit, you know, about your five top reasons why you came to Orlando. So, Hoda, you know, have you been to the 46,000 bars yet? Yeah, what have you guys been doing? No. In <laughs> no. But we've been to a few of them, we have to say. Okay. Do you guys have anything to say to UCF students? UCF. UCF. Thank you so much for coming. Um, Thank you very much. Can you just tell us a little bit about what you did here today? Yeah, no, very, very exciting day. Very exciting day. Actually, I was able to come out here to Orlando and speak to uh, speak to actually uh, you know the students. It was really an amazing, warm reception from everyone. SeaWorld Orlando, known for having amazing marine life like this all around their parks, but wait till you see what they've done with technology. The grand opening of Turtle Trek, the world's first 3D 360 inside look at the life of a sea turtle, coming up next. Hey guys, we're at Daytona International Speedway, world famous track, and if you have an expensive car, you can drive your car on this track today. I'm at Acme Comic Book Store, one of the biggest in Central Florida, and guess what tomorrow is? Free comic book day! Yay! Thanks, Kermit. Make sure you come by tomorrow and get a free comic book. Ah, the final clue. Did we crack the case? You're going to have to come to CSI The Experience on iDrive to find out. If you're a LEGO fan, you are going to love this. I'm at the iBrick Academy, a LEGO RoboCamp, where they can teach you how to build simple machines to cool robots like this. Don't go anywhere. We'll show you more after the break. It's called the Orlando Fringe Festival, and here's a preview of what you can see tonight. You gotta fight for your right to party. If you've ever dreamed of sailing, you sail of Central Florida can help you make that come true. Whether you just want to try something new, pick up a new hobby, or scratch it off your bucket list, they will teach you how to sear one of these babies in just three days. L'Oreal is going to tell us a little bit about what you can do here at Vixen Fitness in Orlando. Tell us a little bit about what we can do. Oh my goodness. I'm going to grab a hold of you so that I can stay still for a second and say, this is the coolest place to work out ever. So what's it like playing the flute for the Lion King around the country? It's the thrill of a lifetime. Can you show us what, you know, the different characters and different flutes that you use in the show? Sure. Simba, when he's a little cub, gets a little panpipe. <laughs> then as he gets older, he gets a larger one. But you hear this instrument in the very beginning of Circle of Life. So is Italian cooking healthy? Italian cooking is the new black when it comes to healthy food. So yes, it's very healthy. Can you tell me if my Italian's good? Say something in Italian. Una piatta di spaghetti, per favore. <laughs> Your Italian is great. American Idol host Ryan Seacrest puts his home on the market, and Jessica Simpson is a new mom. Those are just some of the stories that are hot in Hollywood. A Glee star collapses on the red carpet. Amber Riley, who plays Mercedes Jones in the hit TV show, collapsed at an event in Los Angeles Tuesday night. The star was being interviewed and photographed when all of a sudden she fell to the floor. Riley later tweeted, hey guys, I'm okay. I got a little dizzy from all of the photog flashes. According to E! Online, Riley returned to the event after a short break. Youthful fantasies of flight are dreams no more. This, the Jet Lev, is reality. Jet Lev spokesperson, Chief Pilot Stephen J. Gray, gives us the lowdown on this high flying contraption. Well, this is the Jet Lev R200, and this is the most awesome uh, thing I've ever flown. You know, I fly helicopters, I fly airplanes, ultralights, hovercraft, and everything, and this thing is just awesome. Once you get learn, learn how to fly it, you actually bond with it, and uh, basically you kind of feel like James Bond flying it as well, too. Or maybe Iron Man. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. The Coast Guard approved R200 harness weighs 28 pounds. 
With it, your body behaves like a pendulum or a hanging flower pot. We're told six minutes is all it takes to learn how to operate the stable hand and arm controls. I'm actually flying pretty much hands off right now. And just to show you, I can actually stick my hands in the thrust of the jet lift and it doesn't hurt at all. Diving in and out of the water is a cinch, as Frazier shows us. The unsung hero of the jet lift is a 33-foot hose. It's attached to a quiet boat unit that's busy shooting water to the rider. The engine allows you to fly 29 feet in the air at about 23 miles per hour. Fall down as Keith is about to do, and you pop right back to the surface. The key cut off. Sometimes you get careless and you yank the key. <laughs> Perhaps the most fun aspect of the jet lev is just watching the reactions from people looking at it for the first time. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? How you doing? What time does the bridge open up at? We contacted the Coast Guard to let them know what we were doing because you're going to get phone calls from people going, Oh my God, there's people flying over the bay! Oh, I've never seen anything like it. Crazy, isn't it? It's amazing. Ten years in the making. JetLev is now taking orders for its R200. Price tag? $99,500. And Steven says there is a waiting list, a huge waiting list. The company envisions mega yacht owners to snatch one up, and they're hoping to get their feet in the door of a theme park or two. So imagine no more. Human flight just got accessible. There's no cockpit. There are no instruments. It's just you. In Miami Beach, Naz Perez, Fox 35 News.